Hello, my name is Anthony, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the wireless module that we will be using for our drone. We'll be using the NRF5340. It's a dual core Bluetooth 5.2 system on chip, supporting Bluetooth low energy, Bluetooth mesh, NFC, Thread, and Zigbee. These are all different wireless protocols. It has got two cores. One is the ARM Cortex M33 core and the ARM Cortex M33 network processor. They go the same ARM architecture, M33, but one is for the application and one is for the network. When you want to use this chip, Nordic Semi has uh, developed a development kit that helps you prototype some of your code and see how uh, all the functionality works. So what we're going to do is I've already downloaded the development, um, the development, the software development kit, and I and we also have the development kit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to basically test this particular board. So this is the Nordic Semi NRF5340 board. It's uh, if you really think about it, this is the NRF5340 over here. It's got a very small footprint. So if you just want to program this this uh, or install this particular component onto a onto your own custom board, you can really see that this does not consume a lot of space, which is uh, pretty good in terms of you know space effici efficiency. The rest of this are all the headers of the chip so that you can uh, access the different uh, pins. This is the uh, J-Link uh, Seger um, chip which basically converts your code from the USB and it basically is able to program your NRF5340. So a lot of this component is uh, pretty much designed to program this uh, NRF5340. And the rest is peripheral headers and the antenna, the NFC antenna, buttons and LEDs. All right, so let's write a code so that we can blink uh, not the first LED, but say the second LED. All right, so what you got to do is download the NRF uh, Connect. And once you download the NRF Connect, you can go to the Toolchain Manager, you click Open. As of this recording, the latest version is version 1.7.0. When you watch it, it might be a different version. So we're going to open the Seger Embedded Studio. Once you open the Seger Embedded Studio, in order to access the NRF projects, you would have to, you can go to File. Under File, there is a Open NRF Connect SDK Project. Under the Connect NRF SDK Project, you're greeted with a screen which tells you what SDK release you want to use, what's the project. So in this particular case, we'll use the Blinky project. The board that we're using, in this case, is the NRF5340. Uh, so we're going to use the CPU application core. We're going to, let's say we're going to have a clean build. Uh, and that's what we're going to have. Actually, I'm going to disable clean build because it might take a while to, to program the whole thing. So a clean build basically will clean up all the files that is built previously and it'll start a new build completely from scratch. Um, in this case, I'm gonna, you know, in order to save some time, I'm not gonna create a clean build. So now what this does, it'll create a project. Once you import all the project, this is the, uh, this is how it would uh, in be imported. So what we'll do is, uh, so what I've done over here, so this was at LED zero, I'm gonna change this to LED one so we can basically trigger the LED, uh, the next LED, and not the one that uh, I was showing you, which was flashing previously. This is just to show that, you know, that we can access the code, it's, e it's easily readable, and we can uh, make changes. This is, of course, written by Nordic Semi itself. Uh, the code does something very simple, you know, it takes an LED, it assigns uh, a high state, and then after every one second, it keeps toggling between high and low state. That's really what this code is doing. Uh, some of it is then the rest of it is just initializing the pin initializing uh, the flags initializing the label the label in the sense that this is a string so you're converting the string into the actual binary address and it's doing a lot of other you know important um, initialization in order for the LED to LEDs to toggle so more or less you know this code you don't you just have to you know copy copy this code uh, because this initialization is uh, very hardware dependent. All right, 
So what we'll do is we'll go to project. Here you can click build. It'll build the project. And after you build the project, uh, this will tell you how much of the what's the code size and how much is being used. And now what we'll do is we'll download the code to the target. So here we can click download the Zypher, Zypher.elf. And now you can see that the second code over here is now, the second LED over here is now blinking. So LED1, LED2, LED3, and LED4. So LED2 is now blinking. So that's how you can, uh, you know, start developing with the NRF5340. In the next video, uh, we will talk about how we can use the NRF5340 and communicate with the NRF24L01+. Um, Plus. So this is an old radio module. It's not a system on a chip. It's literally just a radio module. Uh, it runs on a proprietary Nordic 2.4 gigahertz um, radio protocol. And th this chip does support that. So what we can do is try to you know communicate between this and this wirelessly and see how that works. And that will be a good project so that, you know, we can uh, utilize not just a system on module, but also, you know, interface with um, a radio a radio uh, chip that is uh, that you don't need the full capabilities and power uh, such as the ARM Cortex and, you know, like a system on module, you just need the radio capabilities uh, and you want to communicate with that. So this is what this particular project would uh, be able to try to um, get working. I've connected this to the Arduino. This communicates using SPI. And yeah, so until we uh, demonstrate how to do this wirelessly, I'll see you next time.